What's up, y'all? So here with a unboxing of the new Bezgar um, brushless truck. Now, they're claiming that this is their fastest truck, and it probably is um, on 3S. This is going to be a brushless uh, mini 14 scale uh, monster truck. You guys can see there it's got lights and stuff on there for it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. I'm trying to make sure I can get these discount codes and coupon codes for you guys and actually add into the link so you don't have to fill all that in. But we're going to take a quick look at this. Uh, vehicle and then we're actually going to take it out and run it in this video so at least you guys can see it run in its stock configuration i don't recall if it comes with a 3s lipo but we're going to crack this open and see so let's see what we got up in here all right so getting this out they do pack their vehicles really good so i always like that and like i said there'll be a link down below in the description and this is going to be their fastest um, truck actually to date uh, they're claiming on a 3s it can go 62 kilometers an hour which is about 38 miles per hour so we'll definitely put that to the test we probably won't do it this video but we'll definitely get it out but it does come with an instruction manual as you guys see there um, with that pretty detailed got some information in there for you and then looking at this vehicle we're gonna pop all this off <laughs> this is kind of cute because it's like a oh a mini uh traxxas combined armor monster truck and look at this they even give you double A's. So I love it when companies do this. Um, they give you double A's. So, of course, it's going to be two double A's required for the actual vehicle to get it up and running. And you guys see the way this vehicle is kind of set up. I don't think it's actually um, secured down there, which is good. We can get that out. And the radio and stuff is going to be in there. So let me go ahead and let me um, crack all this up. So I'm not making a lot of noise and we'll see what else we got. All right, y'all. So pulling this out, let's go ahead and shed a little bit of light. Um, with this, I'm kind of doing this in the evening of the day. So with this, you do get a willy bar that you can put on here and attach to it, um, which is going to be good because you're actually going to need this when you run this on 3S because it will probably willy up some with it. And then, of course, in this bag here of tools, you get a USB charger um, in it and you get a little tool for the tires and wheels. And then you get a little Phillips head screwdriver. Now, this Phillips head screwdriver isn't so much to just work on the car. You guys see on this radio, it's got a little uh, Phillips head screw up in there to actually access the battery. So you actually need to unscrew that to get to those double A's. And I haven't seen a need after I unscrewed that screw to put those double A's back in or put that screw back in there to hold this thing because it actually stays secure. Uh, the radio is actually pretty good. It fits well in the hand. Of course, I got a, probably a medium sized adult hand. So this will fit fine in a child's hand and it's not too heavy or anything. And it does have, you guys, as you see there, some of your basic trims. Uh, that FN button, if I can recall, that is going to be for the lights. So, yes, this vehicle does have lights and stuff on it. And then they also have throttle adjustments, if you guys can see that there. You can start off at 75 or 100%. So there wouldn't be a need to put a 3S or put a 2S in here and buy an extra battery if you don't have one. You can just put it on 75% if it's too fast. And then, of course, if you want more speed, you can go up to 100%. So we'll definitely be putting that to the test um, with this. Now, looking real closely at the truck, I think this is 16 scale, not 14 scale. Um, but this is actually set up pretty good. The tire compound actually seems to be pretty good. It's kind of just cute to see something like this kind of shrunken down like some of the bigger trucks. But the setup for it's actually going to be pretty good. I'm looking at these turnbuckles and I'll show that to you. They're actually um, pretty beefy on there. So they did make this pretty beefy because going at 35 plus miles per hour with something this speed and you're probably going to hit something. You don't want it to break right away. Now, of course, this is during the winter season, fall and winter. So it's going to be a little bit colder outside. But I think that this will hold up pretty good just to some normal running and stuff. Now, if you're trying to jump 30, 40 feet up in the air, stuff is going to break. I don't care what kind of car you have, how small it is or how big it is, stuff is going to break um, with it. But anyway, with this tire compound, that seems to be pretty decent for what we're going to run out here. And I've never had a problem with any of their vehicles having ballooning tires or anything. So that should be um, all good with that. Uh, remove this body real quick. And like I said, there's going to be a link below in the description for this. So this is going to be the body for it. It's actually fine. Um, I believe it still has that plastic coating over it that you'll have to take off. I normally <laughs> leave it on until I flip it a couple times and it starts to tear off because it does protect the body just a little bit with it. Uh, now, looking at the vehicle itself, you guys see it does have threaded body plastic shocks, but that's fine. I've never had an issue with running these cars and then flipping and then the shock caps breaking and all that. And they are adjustable, so you don't have to worry about putting any spacers in there. Um, even though they are a plastic body, they are still adjustable. 
um, which is going to be good for that. And another thing that I like that they've done with this is they started including a regular radio with it. So you guys see here, it's a regular receiver and these are actually three prong in there. So let's say for instance, you're not getting the distance that you want with your radio. You can always switch it out and change the radio. And you guys see there it has um, one, two and three channels. And then the VCC is for the fan and stuff. So they have actually uh, five positions in there for an additional fan. Uh, maybe that may be one you put on your electronic speed controller for that. But these are three prongs. So you can change this radio out if you maybe want to get a better radio um, that you want to use or something like that and then use this for something else. So I love it that they started switching this over because, <clears throat> excuse me, this was a big problem. If you guys know, in the past, years ago with a lot of these mini cars, they would include like a two-in-one speed controller which I understand the cost, but if you're going to do that, you need to lower the cost of the vehicle down because when you start to switch stuff off, you have to not only switch the radio, but you have to switch the motor and the ESC and then the servo as well. And in this case, you don't have to worry about that. out. I don't know if that servo size is proprietary to this vehicle, but I've never had an issue with it. Just to say all that and some that I haven't had an issue with it. So you do get a brushless motor on there. You guys do see a fan that is on this motor as well and a heat sink as well to keep it pretty cool. Um, and this ESC is 3S capable. And this is actually a 3S LiPo. So like I said, I do have a 2S somewhere, I believe, but you just kind of flip that up and take this out and bam, um, there's your LiPo for this. So it's pretty unique how they did this. And this chassis design, as you guys see, that looks familiar to some other chassis designs with that. But it is pretty beefy. That turnbuckle and stuff is actually pretty beefy. I don't think there'll be any issues um, with that. And the suspension setup, that's actually going to be pretty good. It doesn't feel too bouncy. So I don't think I'll have too many problems, but we'll see. Um, of course, you can always change the uh, oil in the shocks um, with this. But I think this ought to actually be pretty good for a vehicle um, this size with this. So that's a quick unboxing of this particular vehicle. You guys can see the underside of the chassis too um, with it. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna get this charged up and we're gonna get this running in this video. I don't wanna take too much time talking about this particular stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna install this Willy bar. I'm gonna charge this battery up and we're gonna take this bad boy out and we're gonna give it a quick test run. So it'll take me an hour to get it charged up, get everything on, but for you guys, it's just gonna be in just like a snap or a couple of seconds. All right, y'all, out here with a test run of this. Now I should have probably put the 2S in here. You don't get a 2S, you get a 3S with it, but I have a 2S that actually can fit up in here because this little thing, I'm gonna show you guys, I could probably do a standing backflip. Almost. <laughs> I should have put that Willy bar on here. Um, this little thing is probably <laughs> too fast for its own good. Yeah, it definitely, if you get this, definitely put the Willy bar on it. <laughs> now you can dial down the throttle just a little bit. So I'm actually gonna do that so I can control it a little bit better. So what you do, is close to this on off switch you see it's on a hundred percent i'm just going to switch this down to 75 percent i'm going to go ahead and press this fn button and there we go we got the lights put on it so be a little bit more tame oh yeah that's a little bit more tame on 75 percent so you really don't need to do a 2s if you do that yeah because that's probably going to be close to the speed on 2S LiPo, um, maybe a tad bit faster, maybe. Still pop willies and stuff with it. Yeah, <laughs> 2S will be fine right now running this. I mean, 75% uh, not 2S. So that's a good thing. I got to try to straighten my uh, steering trim up just a little bit. It's off by a tad. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's real good like that. So if I want to do a 3S pass, I'm going to try to do it. Try to gradually build up. <laughs> okay, that's full 3S right there. <laughs> 100%. That's cruising too. I got to get the uh, 
We gotta do a super speed Saturday test on this, y'all. I'm curious how fast this is going. And it's handling the speed good. I mean, normally, I'm gonna put this back on 75% too. It's getting some pretty good uh, distance too. There we go. Normally with cars, when you do 10 scale, 8 scale, and you start actually increasing the speed and stuff some, you start to see ballooning of tires and stuff. But you're not seeing that with this. So we're back on 75%. I know I at least want to try to get this out. And it's tracking straight too. Let's see if I can get this. I doubt it, I doubt it, I doubt I can hit it. <laughs> I'm curious how this is gonna roll in this grass. This is actually pretty good. With Christmas time coming up, all that. This is on sale, like I mentioned, for $186. I think the normal price is gonna be two something. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description. There you go. Yeah, this is going good and this is on 75%. <laughs> this is actually going pretty good. So I wish these companies, I know they got these smaller scales, they're trying to get their name out. Um, they're going through things back and forth, they're trying to see the feedback on them and stuff, but they need to make a 10 scale and possibly an 8 scale version of this. Or just make a 12 scale that's almost 10 scale size, make, maybe 11 scale, come out with a new scale. That would be actually pretty cool. If these companies, instead of doing a 10 scale, do an 11 scale or do a 9 scale, do something a little different, something off the norm. But make some of the parts compatibility still 10 scale. Like if they do an 11 scale or a 9 scale, you know, make it either 17 or 12 millimeter hexes and that way we can get stuff for it. But this is actually, look at that. Like I said, that's all 75%. That is tracking good. Look at that, that's good. I'd say for small scale, this is, this is doing good. This is on the performance of something that would be 16 scale. Shoot, close to even 12 scale. How you doing? That is going good. All right, so let's try this real quick at 100%. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be. So you definitely, if you use a Willy bar and you go 100%, you'll definitely need a Willy bar. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely will. I'm gonna put this back on 75%. But try to do a jump or two if I can. Let's show this to you. Like I said, I wanted to get this out for Quick run to show this to you guys. I'll, of course, take it out a little bit more. Pretty sure this is gonna be pretty durable too. I can get this on camera, right? Yeah, you get this for a kid, put it on 75. <laughs> there we go. There we go, that's a good one. <laughs> He's jumping like the big boys. So, so far, so good on this. Good job on this one. Especially making it brushless. I should have brought the bigger ramp or the wider ramp. I was trying to get out and make sure I run this for you guys. I missed that completely. <laughs> All right, try one more jump. There we go. All right, y'all. <laughs> there we go. Just a quick run of this. I wanted to unbox it, show it to you guys, and put a link down in the description because they're, they're only going to be on sale for a certain amount of time. So you guys probably have about, I'd say about five to seven more days from the time of this video to go ahead and try to snatch one of these up. If you want to get one for 186 bucks, then of course they're going to go back up to the normal price. And I love to get those little lights on there. And I like it that they're doing this because um, I know some people have commented, oh, they're cheap. No, nah, no. What they're doing basically is allowing people to get these before they actually hit the market and get out there. And that's a good marketing thing for any company that I think, should, I think more companies should do that when they first release stuff. Do it at a cheaper price or a discount. And then after several days, then bring it up to the retail price you're going to sell it for. Because how many times have we seen stuff out there 
for a certain price and then several months later it drops down in price and back and forth and it fluctuates so anyway guys put your comments down below don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos i'll definitely take this back out and run it again thanks guys for watching